So Donald Trump chose to hold a rally in Ohio. I don't know why he's holding rallies in the middle of a pandemic. And there were hundreds of people in attendance. Um, this isn't a good idea. Only a few of them were wearing masks. I think that these events could act as super spreader events. I mean, they are outdoors for the most part. I know this one was. But when you have people really close next to each other, it's not a good idea. So if you want to get this pandemic under control, not the best thing to do. Uh, but I digress. Uh, he held this rally anyway, like it or not. And the lieutenant governor of Ohio, John Husted, came out to speak. And, you know, probably seeing that they weren't wearing masks, he tried to persuade the crowd to wear masks by pandering to them. Now, he brought up something that I brought up before. You know, I have repeatedly talked about how it is a huge issue that Donald Trump supporters, Republicans, conservatives, are disproportionately less likely to wear masks, right? So I don't care what kind of masks they're wearing. Like, if you put on a MAGA mask, I don't care as long as you are covering your face because we have to get this pandemic under control. Um, I've said that, and he actually proposed this. He has the Trump 2020 mask on, uh, but he said, look, here's the thing. If you go into a grocery store where you have to wear a mask, why don't we put on one of these Trump masks? Well, it turns out um, I underestimated the stupidity of the MAGA crowd because even a pro-Trump mask to them is out of the question because when he made this recommendation, they booed him and they booed him loudly. Take a look. But if you go into a grocery store where you got to wear one, all right, hang on, hang on, just listen up, just listen up. All right, I get it. But if somebody tells you to, t to take it off, you can at least say that you're trying to save the country by wearing one of President Donald Trump's masks, all right? All right. Even the idea of wearing a pro-Trump mask to them is out of the question. These people are deranged. This is why um, COVID-19 cases are starting to climb once again. And we were starting to see the numbers decrease from, you know, the peaks in July, but they're starting to go up again. We're seeing, what, a 10, 13% increase once again, and we have to get this under control by fall uh, or by winter, so we're not seeing COVID-19 and the flu, you know, overrun and overwhelm hospitals, but they booed the idea of a pro-Trump mask. Now, if Trump was the one who said, listen, let's wear these pro-Trump masks. It's patriotic and we'll trigger the libs. I think that the response would be different because, again, I don't necessarily think they're following Donald Trump because of any policy reasons. This is a cult of personality. So if Daddy Trump says it, anything that Donald Trump says by definition is good. Uh, so I think that they would have accepted it if Trump said it, but because another Republican tried to use what it would only be acceptable for Daddy Trump, they did not go for it and they booed him. These people are deranged and they are a threat to all of us. Now, Trump took the stage after John Husted and he introduced the governor of uh, Ohio, Mike DeWine. Mike DeWine is a Trump sycophant. He has been loyal to Donald Trump, but in spite of said loyalty, he actually has been attempting to handle COVID-19 like a grown-up. There is a statewide mask mandate, so you can't be indoors with more than six people without a mask. And on top of that, he actually did have some pretty stringent requirements for the quarantine. So they don't like him because I'm assuming a lot of them think that COVID-19 is a hoax and they think that the mask mandate is like, I don't know, it violates their liberty or it's a muzzle or something like some of the dumb arguments that they've used. But when Trump mentioned him, they booed him. We're joined today by a real good friend of mine, somebody that's been with me from the beginning, and I've been with him from the beginning, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine. Where's Mike? Where's Mike? Where's Mike? <laughs> Bless that on. He's opening up. He's open. Where's Mike? Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. He's a good man. And Lieutenant Governor John Houston. <sighs> this is just depressing to see. Because even if the Republican Party is a minority party, 
even if, you know, the crowd of Trump diehards that are in the MAGA cult is probably like 30, 35% at most, well, that's still a sizable portion of the population. That's still a large enough chunk of the population to where it's going to make it really difficult for the rest of us to get it under control if that many people aren't taking it seriously. I mean, in that crowd, only a few dozen people were wearing masks. Most of them were in close quarters not wearing masks. I mean, they were outdoors, but I mean, if you're close enough to people, still kind of an issue, kind of a risk, a big risk. But I mean, this is not surprising. You know, the GOP has pandered to these types of people. They have cultivated this culture of anti-intellectualism and, you know, a rejection of empirical reality and facts and science. And this is what happens. You know, they reject whatever narrative is inconvenient to them and they come up with their own reasons as to why, you know, they are right and everyone else is wrong. The science is wrong. Now, again, I still think that if Donald Trump made this recommendation to wear Trump masks, the reception would be a little bit different. But it shows you how out of control they are when loyal Republicans speaking at a Trump rally can't even make this suggestion to wear Trump masks without getting booed down. I mean, this it shows you how out of control and reckless a sizable portion of the population is. I mean, again, this isn't a majority of Americans, but it's a big enough portion that makes the rest of us more vulnerable. If we have that many people refusing to do the minimal thing to keep this virus under control, then it's going to be really difficult for us to get it under control, period. Because we have that many fucking idiots who have that big of an issue with wearing a mask. Nobody likes wearing masks. I hate wearing masks. It makes my beard look like shit afterwards. It's uncomfortable, right? It's hot. But I do it because this is what we have to do. Like, if we all wore masks, if 100% of the population wore masks, imagine how fast we'd be able to get this under control to where we wouldn't have to wear them anymore. We wouldn't have to lock down and do quarantine. But because people like this are so stupid, the rest of us have to suffer because of their fucking stupidity. And this is exactly the type of people who the GOP is appealing to. This is the culture of anti-intellectualism, pro-stupidity that Trump is trying to, you know, gin up in order to uh, help himself win re-election. It's not surprising, but it is still deeply depressing to see this. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.